My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here I am going to save you a ton of money again today. We have a 1965 GTO convertible with a 389 tri-power and a four-speed rally gauges, deluxe wheel, console, but it's not a real GTO. This is a Pontiac Le Mans. Somebody has built it as a GTO. There's no way of telling by looking at the car. It's even got the Rally 1 wheels with red line tires. So you can run around and enjoy and drive this car and pay half the price of what a real documented number matching car would bring. Go to volocars.com. You can read the info, look at all the pictures. Uh, and that's where you find a price tag on every car along with the monthly finance option as well. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. Yeah, one of my favorite cars, 65 GTO convertible. I've had a few and I just got great memories in them. Uh, just a neat classic American muscle car. Uh, you got the tri-power, which is very important because I learned everyone asks you, does it have the tri-power? And when I had a four barrel, I had to tell everyone, no, no, it doesn't, but it does. And you can say yes. Uh, the car is right out of Georgia. It's, it presents itself really well, especially out on a sunny day. I mean, the red paint's gorgeous, but it's, it's an old restoration. Under the car is very original, rock solid floors, frame, the braces, the rockers, looks to be all clean, dry, original metal. It's never been uh, prettied up. It's never been painted and restored. It's never been a part under the car. It's been maintained as needed. All the components look proper. They're all in place. It has the original drum brakes. I'm sure they've been rebuilt at one time. Uh, the e-brake cables are hooked up. Uh, so underneath the car is just clean, solid original, maintained as needed. You look up at the motor, that is nice and clean. And it does have a Muncie four-speed transmission in there. Now the body. Again, it's a Georgia car. The body is really in great shape. It is clean and smooth down here. No bubbles. That door fits flush. This is all excellent. It does have the GTO hood. The body is excellent. Square lines. Fits real nice. No damage. Long, flat slab panels and there's no dents, it's not wavy, it's all clean, dry metal, all clean, solid metal, lines up real nice. Now there is a crack right here. If you ever have the car uh, repainted, that will probably need to be welded up. It is cracked right here. All clean, straight, clean metal. It's an old paint job. I think it's 25, 30 year old paint job and the body is nice. Trunk fits nice and square and clean and straight. So yes, the body I think is in really, really nice shape except for that crack. Now the paint, you look at the paint out in a sunny day, stand next to it, it looks new, but it's aged. There's some little pimples through here. There's some like uh, crackling crow's feet going on in here. Uh, here's some touch up along here. There's a dent from the inside out. Something in the trunk bumped it and indented it outward. Uh, there's a few little bubbles in the paint here. There's a touch up right here. A little more of the crackling going on up there. So there are paint flaws. You're getting the drift now. The bumper fits the body real nice. There's a spot where they buffed it a little too hard. Now it's coming around. It's got the stacked headlights as the first year for that. Original T3 headlights. This is all good, clean, nice looking original stuff. So it's not perfect. The bumper has been re-chromed. Windshield's probably original. It has some marks and light wiper marks on it. The rubber around the vent window is pretty brittle but the chrome and the trim is in very good shape. It's got the nice GTO emblems. 
the Rally One wheels. I'm surprised someone spent the money to get this wheel with the reproduction wide oval red line tires uh, to put on here. Uh, the lug nuts are a little rusty. The wheels themselves are in great shape. This is a power antenna. It's got the switch. Got the this original factory option. It's not working. Tail lights. I mentioned it on the last one. Almost mysterious tail lights. Probably not the best thing. You can barely see them. Uh, but the tail lights are hidden behind these uh, chrome vents right here. It's touched up right here. The rear bumper is probably original. It's it's a little worn. It's got the splitter exhaust tips. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but those are correct 65 GTO splitter tips. I love those. Uh, Any time I own a 65 GTO, I got to put those on. So that's the outside, the convertible top. You can see pictures on our website. That's in good shape. The pad on the inside has some tear on it, but the outside top is in real nice shape. They could have folded this a little better and got this tucked underneath the boot. So uh, I didn't feel like going through all that right now, but that can be that can be done a little nicer. All right, let's open it up, see what it's like under the hood and inside. So under the trunk lid is actually painted nicely. It's got a nice sticker. The jam is painted nice, has a nice weather strip. And I gotta tell you what, this car's rock solid. This is a convertible, they leak. Trunk floors rust out. That's an original trunk floor. And that's rock solid. That's clean. What you see here, some surface, you know, condensation got under there, but rock solid, no patches. Original quarter panels. I didn't feel any cuts or splices. So you got a solid car. Two-piece original mat, so it's got some age. Got a spare and a jack. Uh, here's the power antenna I was talking about. You know, this is a car you just get in and drive. It could use a paint job, but I tell you what, out on the street, it's going to be beautiful. Door jams are nice and clean. Weather strips are in real good shape. Not new, but good. Door panels are excellent. Armrests look real good. Has the GTL emblems on the door panel. Has the optional padded dash. This also has the rally gauges. Uh, which was still an option even on a GTO. It has the checkered flag, tachometer, gauges. Here's the power antenna switch, original AM radio. Got the grab bar, GTO emblem. Glove box is good. Carpet's a little faded. Console is a four-speed console in really nice shape, but the black paint can be uh, you know, spritzed up, made a little nicer. It's not pitted, though. It's a good console. Got a nice deluxe steering wheel. It's not a new reproduction. It looks like an original, so it's a little wear on it. Seats overall in real good shape. Got seat belts in the front, side panels. A yeah, good, good interior. But again, keep in mind, we got a four speed here with rally gauges. Good, solid, rust free car. Now, according to the code on the front of the engine, I think it was YR, that is a 389, 360 horsepower tri-power engine that's in here. It does have a tri-power setup. This is the Ram Air induction pan. All you'd have to do would be cut the scoop out and you can make that an actual Ram Air uh, system. Motor seems to run real strong. Easy to work on, there's nothing here. Clean firewall, clean inner fenders, got reproduction hose clamps, got the shroud, the cover, the cap. All looks nice. Look how clean and smooth the metal is. Nice southern clean metal. Does have power steering. It's got manual brakes. Batteries bolted down. Got a disconnect on the battery.
car's got a lot going for it. It's not perfect, but it's affordable, it's a good looking car, fun to drive. And you don't want to tell anyone it's a Le Mans converted to a GTO, I'll keep the secret safe for you. Go to volocars.com. The salesman will help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it. Uh, that's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.